Uh, yesterday, for the first time, I think in seven years, yes? Yes. Uh, Leopards were the to kitu kwa gore. Uh, I don't know if you have footage of that game and some of the... <coughs> the footage is there. We have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, yeah, there it is. I regret why I didn't carry my earpiece. It has become elusive, just like the trophy to Nini. But anyway, Kevin Wamboy from DCI in Kisumu, Anasama, good morning. Uh, Elwin Momanyi, Mukopale Uvo Tarbo, Elder Tupia, and Mutua Nini. What to be a Jaro Soja Pier and Nipia Simo Apo Jara Jaro Nitana Mesejako? But we lose. There was a problem. There's a big problem there. Jaro met one must text Wakila radio station. Jaro, Jaro, Pole Bwana, Pole Nisana. Yesterday, what do you think happened in that game? Beg your pardon. What do you think happened in that game? I think there was, um, I think the coach, uh, FC Leopard's coach, played a mind game game. Uh, for us, Ronavanye Kitambo, Ikiwa Arsenal, na Arsenal Yenga, Wakichaza, na mind game, na Nani, na. Ferguson. Now Ferguson, that is what he did. He said that players are just do, coming for warm up for the FKF Cup. And then I think Gormaya Wakaona, our Tao Komandia Waiko Koi game. So as we're going to win as usual. So even the, the fans, Wakabaki Wamech is a mind game. Pia Ile, we are not coming, everything, but Walikuja Wakirao. So I think it was part of mind game. And that is the thing that, um, first of all, it will lose your morale. And then now, FC Wameonesha, they can play with the big boys. FC Wameonesha, they can play with the big boys and they can win. Not even um, the Kogalo game alone, or win with, uh, with Bandari and other big teams. And um, something, something that is coming up, if, again, if they're like Arsenal, if they go to in, in the market and buy and other experienced players to help the, the academy team that they have to do what to win the league. They can even win the league next season, actually, if they have the momentum of doing that. So for me, they should go out, the market buy, and they should challenge the league next season because now I'm on Asia, they can do this. Or, again, we win PFKF Cup. All right, we want to release Kiana Enda so many news, Pale Radio, so I'll allow him to give his comments on this. Go ahead. Ingwe Materi. Congrats. Hey. Seven so he years. won, by the way, Kianda yesterday. Olympic I mean, homeboy. MC, seven years. Hi. Mendele, I'm going to Oh, no, no, no. You know what, yeah? He's still in Zoya. He's still in Zoya. I don't got. Well, he's he's, he's don't in Zoya. Yes. <laughs> he's still in Zoya. You know. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, I mean, congrats to FC Leopards. I mean, um, I was surprised FC won that game because Gore were kind of in a great form heading into this game. Um, Matano must be a, smile, a very happy man. <laughs> <laughs> must be a very happy man. Actually, he attended the match. He attended the match. Yeah. And, and it was good to the, see the president, the, the former VIP prime stands. minister there. Yes, yes. They were uh, at uh, Kasar uh, Kasarani on Saturday mm -hmm. after Metoka Matanga al mm -hmm. More investment for sports. FC Leopards, congratulations. But I have also to say, the best team this season in the Kenya Premier League is not even Tasca Gormaya. Nzoia. It is Nzoia. <laughs> I knew it. It is Nzoia. <laughs> they were raided, Sindia. Mm -hmm. Mid kwa transfer, Sindia. Not kuna a lot. The players were toka walien Tasca, Sindia. Ongapi? I love kuna wale ulinzi lichukua, Sindia. Where are they? <laughs> now, now this is the <laughs> <That's the Kianda laughs> I mean, that is the team. Is that, yeah? No, yeah. that is the team to watch out for. Nzoya needs to be voted the best team yeah. in the Kenya Premier League this season. To resuscitate yes. you from we will. nowhere. We will. Mm -hmm. Nzoya il was number 14 last season. Yeah. They are now. Pal. We Sindio. agree. Shimanyu Laliona kidu limfanyikia. Quack. Yeah. Actually, I was shocked. I pigo clean. I not be called. He pigo clean. Why am I saying so? When you do proper scouting and you go for passion and you have that backup, Yama fans, fan bases, fit, trust me, you will always 
play for the fans. You'll play with passion. And that's what Nzoya are doing. I'm not excited about Gorma and FC Leopard. but that is expected from them. But another thing, I want to challenge Football Kenya Federation that we need proper marketing mm. ya Kenyan soccer. Yes. We need proper. Yani Dabi inakuja, unaona inaanda kwa hipi Friday? Friday, yeah. Are we mad? It is not normal. Things need to change. You're very right. FC Leopards and Gold. This Gold. is Kianda, eh? Now this is the Kianda I know. This and is he supports the Kianda us, I know. <laughs> he supports us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, proper marketing needs to be done yes. on our football. Yes. Mimi na shitukaka ni kiwa nati polisi na cheza na ulinzi, na hakuna hype. Chukua lori tano ya jeshi peleka huko. Chukua lori tano ya polisi peleka huko. Yani unachikile hype tu yani. Unajua? Hype. Slam Dabi, Madhara vs. Karibang Sharks. Karibang Sharks. Hmm. Bana unasikia. Five. Zaki akisa. Anapigia nduru. Binja inapigia huko ya nazikika. Five fans. Aivai. It's not supposed to happen. Na hii ni responsibility ya federation. KCB fan toki. <laughs> With three fans. <laughs> you know. Ukisikia Kakamega FC Lopez na kucheza that's a western derby. Yes. Nzoya versus uh, FC Lopez it is supposed to be hyped. Mm. Do we pigwe pay federation has money to pay the media no. and pay what were influenced Now let Kenya. No, no, no. You know, no. I'll support Kenya yeah, on this eh? Now the federation has always been looking at marketing as something that will happen um, as magic. You have to market football. Uh, when a match is being played, uh, for example, uh, FC Leopard is playing uh, homeboys, I think, over this, this, this weekend. What should be happening? Influencers should be engaged, and I tried it. Um, I called Shimanyula, he made a statement about FC Leopards. The next call I received was from um, uh, Makadara MP, um, uh, Jojo Mwera Ladwa, uh, countering or uh, making a battle. Football must be marketed. Uh, I was so surprised, and, and that's why I love Shikanda. In one of the AGMs, Shikanda woke up and asked the Federation, um, the, the, the Secretary General and the President, you are giving a budget for marketing that is not worth marketing. The bulk of this budget should go to marketing. Let, let's have influencers, on, uh, digital influencers. Let's have the media. Pay the media. You don't just go to radio stations and throw some few um, tickets and expect that uh, fans will come to the stadium. No. You have to pay so that you get quality kind of advertisement, quality kind of mentions on radio, on TV, and even, uh, as I said earlier, the digital space. This is where um, everybody else is moving. The social media should be a buzz of the upcoming match. For example, as I said, uh, FC Lopez is playing um, okay. Homeboys over the weekend. Uh -huh. This is a match that should be marketed right. from today. And, and the only way Azam can see the value of this game is if in any case they see the buzz. If there is no buzz, then they will not invest their money in our game. So FKF should wake up and believe in the digital space so that we can progress the game. All right, to move forward and progress the game. All right, I know we, we need I've, to I've, talk about other I've not talked as well, about but it. go ahead. I know it I, is your... I joined the president. <laughs> <laughs> you joined the president and the former prime minister. At the Nyayonashi. Yesterday, Kenya. yes. Two things that I will take home from that. And congratulations also to the people who came. We've always been talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. fans showing up. The, the, so congratulations to the fans. The, they came and the president took it upon himself to urge fans back to the yeah, stadium. Yeah. He said, Naomba to Rudi Kwa Mchezo, that uh, let us support our own football. I was happy about uh, the attendance, number one, uh, beginning with the top leadership in the country, the fans. And number two, together. to see them together. The, 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 the sport is a uni unifying factor. Right. Number two, the discipline. Vile Mpira Elisha, you could see FC Leopards were congratulated in the Gorma here fans. The music was played from both communities. I enjoyed every moment in that stadium. But what I want to bring out of that game, in as much as they say it's seven years, those players played a very good game, uh, FC Leopards players. Patrick Osems, I think, was ready for this match. They outplayed Gormahia in every department, beginning with the goalkeeper who made uh, very many, many saves. FC Leopards keeper. Then number two, uh, there is a player I marked out, uh, Owiti. 
that player I think was the man of the match in that game because he really kept uh, Omala off key. Uh, this is not the Omala that uh, uh, I've been experiencing uh, in the Premier League matches. Number three, uh, I'm not a coach, I'm not a trained coach, but I can say I'm a coach because uh, I understand a little bit of football. All the three goals came from set pieces. Two corners and one penalty for FC Leopards. Gormayo are given a penalty, mm -hmm. Omala threw it out. So I think this is where the two coaches need to sharpen. Uh, finishing pieces. finishing yeah. power. Uh, I said the goals came from set from pieces. Set pieces right. So from an open play, we did not have, we did not have a goal. So I think the, it is the highest time our coaches sharpen up uh, our striking power. And there was a debate here when uh, Firat uh, came up with, with this lineup and right. Omala was missing. And where is Firat? A minute, a minute I finish what I'm saying. <laughs> Don't be like Kianda. <laughs> when he came up with his lineup and Omala was excluded, we made noise. But again, now you can clearly see that uh, Firat had some good reason. In the Premier League, we are lacking the sharpness up front. And that is a challenge to... But uh, we do you say generally or go? Generally. Okay, go on. Okay. Generally, because uh, look at FC Leopard, same thing. Look at Gorma here, same thing. The goals came from set pieces. It came from a corner from FC Leopard, corner from Gorma here and a penalty. That shows you that we are struggling to score goals in an open play. So that is a challenge to our Kenyan coaches. If at all, we need players who can be called up to challenge for a position at... Um, uh, the national team. So it's a good, it's a good comeback. Congratulations, FKF. Uh, rarely will Arocho congratulate FKF, <laughs> but let us <laughs> congratulate them for a good job done yesterday. As we, I we add congratulate to them for what? To <laughs> to Their th job is to okay. organize football in Kenya. <laughs> I don't congratulate you as a parent for taking me to school. Please, uh, uh, Shitera. Shitera. Uh, where was the, 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 the national team coach? That's where I, I cannot congratulate the federation. But you know, were you in the stadium? Wait, was why, he there? Were you in the stadium? When was the last time? Were you there? Was he there? Yeah, I was there. Yes, but was the coach? I, I told you I joined the president. No, no, no. Was the coach there? <laughs> This is a big match. Wait. You let's, brought in but, FK. But wait, this, wait, wait, wait. This, uh, <laughs> let's, let's. Guys, this is the biggest match in Kenya as far as fans is concerned. That's right. It's a tough match. We are heading into FKF semifinals, or is it quarterfinals over the weekend. Where is the national team coach? The other day, we launched a youth football worth 400 million. Where is the national team coach? When is he going to watch these players? The league is on. Where is the national team coach? Please don't mention FKF here. And you expect me to give them kudos. <laughs> the same I just want to add same, something the before, way. because this one are not going to, to, yes. to finish now. Yes, go ahead about and add, the, because the, we need to... About the marketing to part, England. about the marketing part, the president, <laughs> you, you missed to say, the president said about the, we are going to host the uh, AFCON. The bid for AFCON. Yeah, yes, AFCON that bid 20. that uh, he mentioned. And I think we have that. It is there. Play the uh -huh. clip. Uh, Play the clip. Play the president the clip. talking about the bid that uh, Kenya's bid to host AFCON mm -hmm. 2027. Let's uh -huh. take a listen. To my honor game, Zuri Sana. The best game I have ever seen in a long time. Na mimi nataka niseme asante sana kwenu, pongezi, mimi na wakikishia. He game to Taibadilisha. Tunaelewana? Nisha kubaliana na ababu na muamba. Ya kwamba Kenya itarudi mahali ambapo inajulikana na inaishimika kwa mambo ya soka. Sawa. Na mutaona hivi karibuni. Siu nilitangaza hapa. Tunaenda eh, AFCON 2027. Tunataka ichezu hapa nyumbani. Tuko pamoja? Wednesday, tunaweka bid yetu ya APCON 2027. Sawa sawa, na mimi nitakuwa mstari wa mbele. Mbaka hiyo game ijezo ya panyumbani. As I said, you've talked about marketing. This is part of our place that we need to take very seriously about the AFCON. It's part of the marketing that we need to do now in, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the what with the game venue. Um, uh, President Amesema, any time, sasa yeye mwenyewe amechukua kama 
it's yeah, yeah, my project, yeah it's I my think. project yes. let, let us watch to skume talanta yao vijana tufanye it's part of selling our players it's part of marketing part of getting even revenues from other people i've seen it was it was i think this thing was discussed in um, january i think 27th about where by uh, uh, kenya uh, uganda and tanzania and uh, other part of uh, but i think more of botswana or something they are coming in board to host the what the the afcon so if this goes through now the marketing thing comes in whereby to not, so we are in the platform no no so for me as like fkf let's take this as a very serious thing for us to push what the afcon to happen here in kenya again we are going to benefit for it because at the end of it lazima to kwena stadiums and start host these matches if you have we, if you push these one stadiums will come marketing the community the marketing will come whereby even revenues will come for me it's a very big thing anyone when you anasema up and asema ni ndoto anafa kufikiria mara mbili because it's a very good thing for for, for a game now yeah 20, 2020 Seven. That's yeah. many years. <laughs> Four years. Four, Four years. years to come. Four years. I believe. Ata tu kisema tu tujenga one stadium per year. Tu tajenga. Tu naweza. Aki tafadhali. You know that. you've had it from the president. Yes. Well, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the president. Mm -hmm. He gave one million. Um, to uh, Gore and FC Leopards. I think for just the good guests. You have two million. Mm -hmm. yeah, two million. One each. million each. Yes, one million each. So <laughs> he, he liked the game. <laughs> you heard his statement. What did the president say? Tutarudisha. Mm -hmm. That means we are not there. Mm -hmm. Our football <laughs> is not anywhere uh, worth smiling. Uh, the fact that uh, uh, nothing is happening as far as football in this country is concerned uh, should be a big, a big problem. Look at the fact that Sudan the other day, South Sudan played in the quarterfinals of the under was it 17. under 17 Afcon. Look at Tanzania; they've been playing. Um, they played in the World Cup, ladies' uh, World Cup. Mm -hmm. Where is Kenya? Oh. And McHugh. Of the 14 t uh, countries in East Africa, that is the Sakafa region, we have the largest economy. So when we start uh, giving kudos to uh, Federation for organizing Gore versus FC Leopard, surely, that is their job. All right. I think, but they okay. are cooking I something. Think, I think yeah, that is I their think job. To follow, up, to follow up your discussion, I had the interview yesterday, uh, the president saying that mpango ya viwanja menuliza sana mm. and he said now i'm in charge i will deliver these stadiums to you and he said he talked of the master plan being worked on and i think this is a positive uh, news uh, to mm -hmm. kenyans yes because even as we gear towards uh, launching the bid uh, to host the 2027 afcon i think uh, the president is on a driving seat to ensure that we are doing it. Yes. And this is the spirit I was talking about. I think uh, President William Ruto is walking in the footsteps of uh, Daniel. the late Mze, Daniel, uh, Daniel Toroitich Arab Moy. He was the number one football fan. And the glory he is talking about, we last experienced it uh, during uh, the late President Moy's reign. All right. He talked of uh, the Mashinani football. We experienced something equal to that during the Moy Golden Cup where we could have teams from Mashinani mm -hmm. uh, coming up to play at the national level. That is where Madaria United uh, came, from. came in, winning the Moy Golden Cup, despite the fact that it was not a team in the Kenyan Premier League. So this is a good spirit from the president. We encourage him yes. as stakeholders. Yes. Please uh, rise. Shikilia hapo hapo. We support you. Thank you. And, uh, All right. and uh, so place that bid. Build the stadia, even for sports tourism. South Africa in 2010 mm -hmm. benefited a lot from this for hosting the, the World, World Cup. Cup. So it will have a, a ripple effect positively mm -hmm. right. to our economy. So we so shall. We we'll, while we we will congratulate, no doubt, uh, but we also must again uh, mention the fact that uh, we have been a nation of statements. So no. now we want to be an No, but he clarified action. it yesterday. No, I'm happy okay. he clarified. It's all right. It's okay. We want to see, <laughs> we want to see pestle and mortar. What was it going to stay there? I'm going to say that we're going to be in the sour to which structure. But you see, so, when we are given okay. the node, Everything, the challenge is ours now. Very good. Yes. So we, not to say we have not made a step, we are making a step. It's great to see a president leading the forefront. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, after this, let's Mambo it up. Mm. That's all I'm Raburu, saying. Don't all right. forget. So we have, don't, don't, don't forget. We have like one minute. One, one, my, my, 30 30 seconds. my 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> first and foremost, I'd like to congratulate <laughs> my team. 
Shabanda FC. <laughs> don't look at me that way, Shtera. Shabanda is currently leading the league. Have? How many teams do you have? No, I, I support all community no. teams. But your colleague, <laughs> let, let, no. us, let us talk Which about that. Your, your colleague was at, just, at Kasarani. My 30 seconds. Can you just do the thing? You are spoiling the and Shabana. And then uh, Ibra, you are prepared to tamaliza na Omanya La Kishina yeah. as our last video. Shabana FC is currently leading the NSL league. Guys, watch for Shabana. So they're going to be promoting. Yes, yeah, so next season when you're talking about Gormaya, FC Leopards, you must bring in Shabana. Let me as give a you a warning on that. As much as they're coming back, let them come back and shine. Wasque kama viga bullets. Wasque kama viga bullets. That is what I wanted. You cannot compare viga bullets. So as, as you're pushing, the, as you're pushing, as you're pushing, as you're pushing the, the agenda, push again the marketing, right. communication, and right. everything, and, and finance. You cannot okay. compare Thank viga you. and shabana. Please. Okay, peace, peace and love. Peace and love. Here's what we're going to do. Because we have like a minute left, uh, I'm going to take predictions for the Champions League because we already talk about Arsenal. We already know what City is doing. Chelsea are hiring Pochettino. But the Champions League is tomorrow. Uh, is it going to be City? It's tomorrow. Tomorrow is the Milan's. Yeah. Which, which Milan is going to win? Yeah. And then also be City playing against Real Madrid. Inter. Who do you think is going to be in the finals? I'll start with you, Zita. Your predictions. Uh, my prediction is uh, as much as uh, City are home, I, uh, Real Madrid knows how to play in the Champions League. That is one thing you should give to them. And they know how to win matches, actually, in the tournaments. So for me, I'll give an I'll give upper hand to, uh, to Real Madrid and uh, Inter Milan in the finals. Real Inter. Yeah, in the finals. But I see the cup going to in, the, in yeah. Italy. Oh, to <laughs> Italy. Italy. Okay, <laughs> all right. Inter Real, Inter wins. Inter Real, Inter wins. Arocho. Shabana and... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> Man City <laughs> and Inter Milan. Okay. And the eventual winners will be Man City. All right. I also think this time Man City are going to win it. I think Pep has tasted... Shabana. Uh, he can taste it. I don't think he's going to lose grip. That's what's going to happen. In the meantime, between time, uh, uh, Polenis and Arsenal, uh, and just like yesterday, there was leadership from the top who went to watch the gold match. I want to start from the leadership on the top supporters of Arsenal, Linus Kaikai, um, and then Jamila, Jamila, Jamila Mohamed, <laughs> Vincent Atea, all Rashid, very, Abdala. Rashid Abdala. Rashid Abdala. <laughs> <laughs> so please send them encouraging tweets. Make sure they're okay. You know, these are tough times you're living in. But to lighten everybody's mood, Kenya again, we have great, great hope, respect, and adoration for one Omanyala who continues to push and push and push. A sure sign that really if you put your mind to something, you have the discipline and the support, you can do wonders. And therefore, we end today as we show you on Manuela's exploits. Mungu wabariki sana. Tuanane round two. <laughs> <laughs>